what's up? Rob here, Old City Vapor, with another weird, weird Wednesday video. Uh, yeah. Uh, where is this place, you may ask? Why is there a skull on the wall back there, under surfing pictures? I don't know, you know, that's it, it's weird. Uh, this is the workshop where we make the donuts. It's part of it. Um, the old surfboard shop. I'm at work tonight, about nine o'clock, and uh, I'm taking a break. And I figured, why not make a video since it's Wednesday and I haven't done that yet? So, here I am, talking to you people, making a weird Wednesday video vlog about my weird ass life and the weird ass house that I grew up in. Let's talk about that one again. Maybe you're getting tired of that house. Next week I'm going to try to go on location to some weird spots and have some other weird stories. Maybe I'll uh, video some stuff around ye old town. So, let's see, another story about the house I grew up in. I know, I got one. Actually, I got tons. Um, one night, me and my mom are at home. I was probably 13, 14 years old at the time. And uh, my stepdad was in the middle of the ocean somewhere on a shrimp boat headed to Hawaii. Uh, he was delivering, he was part of a crew, it wasn't just him by himself, being the, you know, Moby Dick guy or something, but, uh, he was a part of a crew that was delivering a shrimp boat to Hawaii. Uh, so, he had a long way to go, considering we're in Florida. Um, anyways, the story's not about a shrimp boat going to Hawaii, although we could turn it into that if you really wanted me to. The story is about... Uh, me and my mom were home one night, and the dogs, uh, hanging out. I think we had eaten dinner, probably watching a, a movie, something that was on TV. We're just chilling out, and all of a sudden the dogs start kind of getting nervous looking, and kind of looking around, and kind of being weird, and, uh weird. And uh, they start kind of growling and next thing you know, BOOM! Something like hits the house. And I'm like, I mean it like shook the house. And uh, I'm thinking, holy hell, a tree just fell on top of our house. And uh, my mom's looking at me, I'm looking at her and we're like, what the Hayward? <laughs> and uh, the dogs are, they're freaking losing their minds. They don't know to poop or go blind. They're freaking out, running around. They don't know what's happening. They think the sky's falling. Okay, actually, so did I. Uh, before I could actually get up and go look outside to see the tree that fell on our house, boom, it happens again. And, I mean, it's shaking the house. It's like, boom, you know? And now I'm thinking... Did two trees just fall on our house? What the? Boom! It happens again. For the next couple of minutes, it sounded like and felt like there was a giant on each side of our house just pounding the living hell out of the house. I mean, it's pounding. The house is shaking. And this is a big house. It's a big house. Uh, stuff is like falling off the wall, um, and I'm freaking out, the dogs are freaking out, I'm buzzing like a cheap TV, <laughs> I don't know what's happening, where to go, me and my mom are basically standing in the middle of the living room, uh, hanging on to each other, freaking out, and as sudden as it started, it stopped. Lasted, I don't know, a minute or two.
Okay, so now I'm asking my mom what's happening, and she doesn't really give me an answer. I'm thinking, I think I just pooped myself. <laughs> so, she says it's an earthquake. And I'm thinking, wow, we live in Florida. I didn't know we got earthquakes. I'm only 13 or 14. I'm no uh, great, knowledgeable kid, but I didn't think we got earthquakes in Florida. So, anyway, we went outside, looked at the house, seemed to be okay. Came back in, looked at the house, looked at the ceiling, and uh, we had plaster ceilings in the house. Like I said, it's an old, old ass house. Cracks in the plaster ceiling. Uh, stuff had fallen off shelves and stuff, and so we spent, you know, the rest of the evening picking things up, and uh, I was probably not thinking about going to sleep at all. Um, I was probably thinking about, uh, getting on my bike and pedaling to, like, Wyoming or somewhere by this time. Anyway, um, my mom told me that it was an earthquake. Uh, it was tremors and stuff like that. So, I don't know. We picked the house up. Uh, the dogs had chilled out. Uh. My mom, she's pretty, she's a pretty religious person. Doesn't drink or anything. Uh, I'm only 13 or 14, so I wasn't drinking. But if there would have been alcohol in the house, I would have probably drank it that night for sure, because I was uh, nervous as a dog pooping pine cones. Um, <laughs> I don't think I really slept. I know I didn't sleep in my bed that night, uh, and I can't really remember if, when, or where I slept that night. But um, the next day, I'm out, I'm talking to my friends, you know, I'm like, dude, what about the frickin' earthquake last night? And they're all looking at me like, they're looking at me like I'm, I got three heads and I'm from, you know, Mars or something. They're like, well, what are you talking about? And I said, the earthquake, you had to feel, it, you know, you're, you're like right across the street and stuff. And, you know, a block down the road, and I'm like, you guys had to have felt it, you know, and they're like, uh, no, <laughs> you're tripping, man, and yeah, so nobody else in the neighborhood felt the earthquake, um, so there you go, what was it, well, it was easy to explain. No, it really wasn't. Uh, I never got a really good explanation other than my mom said it was an earthquake. And I tried to believe that for a little while, but no. I don't think so. I don't know what it was, but uh, it was enough to uh, bejargle the house quite a bit, knock things off the shelves, um, you know, did it feel like an earthquake? Hell yeah, it felt like an earthquake. It felt like the end of the world to me. Uh, but, like I say, it started and then it stopped and uh, that was it. So, I don't know, are there earthquakes in Florida? I've kind of tried to look that up and I've never really found anything uh, factual about any earthquakes that were in Florida. Might be wrong. Hope I am. But, uh, I don't know. You had anything weird happen to you? Leave me a comment if you do. Tell me about it. Uh, I'd love to hear your weird stories. And, uh, you know, makes me feel a little less weird if there's some other people that have weird things going on. Uh, like me. Anyway, that's about enough uh, weird Wednesday talk for now. Like I say, next week I'm going to try to go... Uh, take the camera and go out and about. I've been filming these last videos, last several videos with my iPad, and uh, I'm going to try a different camera. 
next week and uh, we'll take it around and um, see if I can find some strange places to talk about around ye old town okay like I say if you got anything weird that's happened to you definitely leave me a comment shoot me an email tell me about it I'm definitely interest, inter, interested in what you guys have uh, going on in your weird world if anything or am I just the only one that has weird stories after story after story. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> you guys have a good uh, rest of the day, evening, night, whatever time it is you might be watching this. And uh, I'll get back with you with some normal videos. As normal as I can be anyways. Hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. And uh, like I say, comment, subscribe, like, uh, whatever. Okie dokie. Bye-bye. Still here. So am I. What's up? Uh, what's up with this creepy old beard I got going? Uh, it's been no shave November, but November's over and the beard is still here. I don't know. Maybe I should go and just get all Duck Dynasty and let it just go, what do you think? Uh, should I shave or should I grow? Okay, I gotta go now. Bye bye <laughs>